So this is the backstory of the part one of David Kinnaman, Love Jesus But Not the Church. And here I am in Studio C, right before I go to another interview, all raw, a little bit of makeup this time, but hair not done like this. But so the backstory of that is this, and if I can be so transparent, uh, our 15 year old son has been having questions about God and some doubts about God and going to church. And as we've shared this journey about him and his questions, a number of our friends have actually said, hey, you know what, our son or daughter have those exact same thoughts as well. And so this conversation has been percolating. It was like the perfect storm because we got a call from our PR um, friend who said, hey, president of the Barna Research Group, David Kinnaman is coming up from California. And he has a great book out called Faith for Exiles. And I was like, okay, this actually will be a great learning for me. Here's, the, here's an inside scoop. A lot of times when I bring people in to uh, be a guest on the show, it's because I just really want to learn from them. And it's like free learning. It's like why I have psychotherapists on the show. It's free counseling. That's why I have smart people come on because I actually get an opportunity to learn. And I've always been told and actually saw that some of the most effective leaders and greatest people of influence were always learning. Never stopped learning how they could be better, uh, learning about skills and tools to help them in life. Anyway, all that to say, we brought in David Kinnaman and I wanted to know why so many young people were leaving. He says 64% are leaving the church after 15 permanently. And so I was like, let's do a show. And actually not even that, let's do an event where we can bring people, pastors, people of influence, those who work with young people to an event here at Crossroads in our studio and let them hear David and I have a conversation and a real conversation. So the backstory of this is that um, I am concerned about 64% of young people leaving, but more so I'm concerned about what the church isn't doing, what I'm not doing, what I can do better, how I can reach my son um, with deeper, meaningful thoughts of Jesus. Or maybe it's just we continue to live out our life with him with love and grace and trust that God's got him and God loves him a lot more than Chris and I do. And even if he ever leaves God and his relationship with Jesus, uh, Jesus will never leave him. God will continually pursue him every day of his life. So that's the backstory, a personal one uh, that I'm in the journey of with my husband. You can pray for um, our son and daughter uh, because they're in that sort of preteen teenage where, you know, they're asking questions. And we just continue to pray for our teenagers and young adults in our church. And church, it's time to make some changes and some course corrections on being better and listening to the next generation. And that's the backstory this week.